Hey everybody, it's me, Erin Elise. Welcome to this episode of Erin's Eats. Ow, some bit my ankle. Uh, today we're gonna be making s'mores cup. Mmm, sounds good, right? This is a great alternative if you do not have a campfire or don't want to sit with your lighter and a marshmallow or, I don't know, indoor roasting. It is pretty much uh, the dog days of summer, and that, and that what they call it, August. It's hot, I don't know, maybe, it's actually been, at least in LA, it's been a little too warm for a bonfire, so I'm gonna just whip up these yummy s'mores cups and then maybe take them to our Game of Thrones night tomorrow. Let's get started by putting on aprons. Oh, something keeps biting me in here. Like, dance around so they won't keep flying at me. Tie it on and bounce. This recipe looks really simple. All you have to do, pretty much, is make the little cups uh, like out of the graham cracker crumbs and some butter and then you just stick the chocolate and marshmallow and put it back in the oven and and melt it so let's get started first by making our graham cracker mixture you need to crush up seven whole graham crackers I used my little food processor you could also just put it in a big bag and smash it up if you want to get out some anger or aggression um, to that, we're going to add a fourth a cup of powdered sugar <coughs> and six tablespoons of melted butter. Before we start mixing that together uh, real fast, preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Also, lightly spray a muffin tin uh, with some spray. The recipe I found makes 24 mini cups. I only have one pan of 12, so I'm gonna see how far, well I guess I'll see how much I have left over and then use the rest and make big cups. Here comes the butter. Ooh. Oh no, love. I think there were ants in the powdered sugar. Yep, well, there goes that. Now what? Start over of all of the ingredients and just not... We're gonna have to. We're not gonna eat it with ants. <laughs> Crap. So we're gonna dump out the ant-filled bowl of mixture and make a fresh batch because we don't want any ants in our s'mores cups. Since my whole box of powdered sugar is filled with sad little dead ants, I'm gonna have to make powdered sugar from granulated sugar, which means all you gotta do is put your regular kind of sugar in a food processor and what do you blend it, process it till it's fluffy like powdered sugar. Do all that. Okay. <laughs> I redid my graham cracker crumbs. I made some powdered-ish sugar and melted six more tablespoons of butter. So let's go ahead Pick back up, shall we? No ants appearing this time. So just stir all that together. It's gonna stay pretty crumbly. So this is what, what you'll have. Let's form our little cups, shall we? I formed little cup crust thingies. Probably using about a tablespoon of mixture per cup, I think. Once you do that, you wanna bake it for like four or five minutes and then we'll add in the chocolate and marshmallow. So let's stick them in, stick them in the oven. All right, our little cuppy thingies have baked for about five minutes. They're a little more goldeny brown and they smell really good. So now we're gonna do the fun part, which is 
adding chocolate and marshmallows. The possibilities are really endless on this. Obviously, you could do the classic straight up little milk chocolate Hershey's. We have decided to go with the mini Reese's peanut butter cups. And I also had some uh, the Hershey's that have toffee and almonds in it. So we're gonna do like half and half. So you're gonna put the chocolate down and then the marshmallows on top and then stick back in the oven. Let's start adding the sweet stuff. Here's how it looks right now. As you can see, I used mini marshmallows. You could also use the big ones. Uh, I believe the, the page I saw this on, they, they use the big ones and they cut them in half put on top of each. I had many ones on hand so that's why I'm using the mini ones. We're gonna put these back in the oven for like I think another five minutes and then to get that golden-y top on the marshmallows we're gonna turn the broiler on for just a, a minute to to get that you know golden-y part so we'll chat back in when they've done or when they're done melting. Look at them in their tins. Wow, the golden-y and crusty. I'm gonna pop a couple of these out and we're gonna taste of them. Probably best to run a knife around the edges to easily scoop them. Oh, they're so cute and weird looking. It probably would have been better with the big marshmallows because these look like, I don't know, Look, aren't they cute? All right, taste tester. It smells like s'mores in here, s'mores in here. S'mores, it's a s'mores dance. It's a very cute s'mores dance. Practice. Why are you so sweaty? I've been practicing. Hmm, practicing what? Some dance moves. Do you want a Reese's cup one or uh, a toffee almond? I kind of want to try one of each. Ding. I got Reese's and it's so good. What'd you get? Reese's, Reese's as well? Can we just look at that? I'm like, that's just heaven. All melty. Oh my gosh. And these are really neat because you can make a bunch and then just throw them in the fridge or like Tupperware and then just toss them in the microwave for like what, five, 10 seconds? Just to and you've got s'mores. Wow, this is really good. I think good. I over browned them. I couldn't get them out mm -mm. fast enough. Mm -mm. Really? I think because everyone likes their s'mores differently, right? Yeah. Some people like them really burnt. Some people like them very not burnt. Mm. Another one. We're just going to have to eat them all. Oh, well. Yeah. That's good too. Mm. It's so melty. They've been out of the oven for a good five, ten minutes to cool off, and it's still melty. That's good. I, I'm a peanut butter freak, so peanut butter cups all the way. I like the toffee one. Mmm, good job. Mmm. Mmm, <laughs> peanut butter. Mmm. -hmm. <laughs> love you. I love you. I'm not gonna lie, this was stressing me out just because of the whole ant thing and having to start over, but it was totally worth it. I'm really glad I made these. Let me know in the underpants below what type of chocolate you would put in your s'mores cup. Would you do classic or would you do something like the Reese's or Butterfinger or Snickers? Oh my gosh, Snickers are like my favorite. We should just get one of those bags that's the mixed kind, you know, where it's uh, a variety and just put a different kind. And it's a surprise. You never know what you're going to get. Thanks as always for tuning in to this episode of Aaron's Eats. We will catch you next weekend in the kitchen. Bye!